spit in your bed. It's going down tonight. If you ready for me to talk about the people that left you stuck up under the ground and thought you were never going to dig yourself back up, hit that like button right now. If you ready to talk about these people that put you in a toxic relationship and you were nothing but good to these people, hit that like button right now. I need you to shout. If you're ready, shout. If you're ready, shout. Ready, shout. Ready, shout. Ready, shout. This video, baby, if you're ready for me to go in on that toxic ass job around them toxic ass co workers, around them people that's putting you in bad situations, man. It ain't through to you, it's through to your love, your love heart. Yeah, these people done lied to you, these people done lied on you, these people done used you, these people done hung you dry, these people done took everything they could take from you, but yet you still find a way to love, baby. Yet you still find a way to find somebody one day that's going to love you the same way you love them, baby. I need somebody to hit that like button right now. It's going down tonight, baby. I say it's going down tonight, baby. If you ever been in a toxic relationship or a toxic situation, situation or a negative environment and you just find yourself trying and trying and years just building up man bills just piling up on you man but you're paying them because you love this person if you ever break up from a situation and it bring you peace you didn't lose your one baby because you done been lied on you done been talked about you done gave them everything you can and for some reason that man or that one man just don't understand that baby I'm just a good person I just love and when I love I love hard I need somebody to hit that like button right now baby because I'm finna heal you baby if you're ready for your blessing I need you to hit that like button because it's going down the night baby strawberry uh -uh. you are watching a master at work let me tell you something when you let go of something when you walk away from something, when you find the exit from something that was toxic, and somehow when you walk away, blessings just start to, to come your way. When you let go that curse and somehow God just start delivering things you never thought you would. Now you're working on your dream job. But when you were with this person, you could never ever seem to get a breakthrough. Because they kept breaking you down. I need you to hit that like button right now if you know something about it. If you don't recover from the rubble that they left behind. But if you recover from the trouble that they done dug you in. If you don't recover from the problems that they kept bringing in your life. And you just so happy that you were so strong enough to walk up out that situation unharmed. Girl! And if they call wounds on you. If they put you, you, you in any kind of situation. You done hit from that and you done build from that and now you're just that much stronger baby because when a breakup brings you peace you won you overcame you triumph baby victory is mine thus say the lord baby i need somebody to hit that like button right now if you're going through it baby i'm finna go in tonight baby strawberry uh -uh. Then shout out to everybody hitting that like button. I need somebody to type 1111 in the comments right now. I need somebody to hit that like button. Thank you for everybody that's going to donate to the channel and show love tonight. But baby, I'm going in. Girl! And I want you to understand. In order to elevate, you got to separate. You got to separate from toxic environments. You got to separate from people that don't mean you no good. You got to uncousin your cousin because they keep bringing you trouble. You got to unfamily member, family member sometime, man, because family ain't shit sometime. And you just got to acknowledge it and accept that, that man, I'm going to let you be ain't shit by your ain't shit self because I'm on something and you don't want nothing, baby. And if you, if you break up, from these people, man, and you found the strength to love these people from a distance. You ain't got to hate them. You ain't got to beef with them, but you love them from a distance. And in the instance you let go, you find yourself. In the instance that you let go something and it feels like you pick yourself back up, you won. Victory is yours, baby. Victory is yours, baby. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, baby, you banging it out now, baby. You banging it out now, baby. 
You winning now, baby. Let me tell you something, baby. If you ever done walked away from something that you never thought you could walk away from, baby, you just got stronger. You just leveled up. You just shut the double up. If you ever been in a situation, man, where that situation had a hold on you, baby, you were like Kanye, and that situation was like Kim K, where you're throwing away your whole career. You're throwing away your family, your personal values, and the things that your family taught you. You're throwing away that for somebody that don't even love you the way they, that you love them, baby. I need somebody to hit that like button right now, baby. If you were strong enough to walk away from that. But see, I'm going to tell you something. When you're in a relationship that causes problems, bring you negative energy, and always consist of drama, you got to find the exit out that relationship, baby. When you work at a job, and you can't stand this job because you don't like your co-workers or your manager and you can't stand your boss. You got to put in your two-week notice and find your walking papers, baby, and find the nearest exit because, baby, it's time to bang it out, baby. You got to get out. When you in the friendship with people, that you can't be your natural self around. You got to find the exit out that friendship because she's supposed to take your places. And if that friendship, that relationship, that business partnership ain't going nowhere, you better abandon ship because that ship gone sink. I need somebody to hit that like button right now if you want me to go in right now, baby. Because it's time to grow. It's time to grow. It's time to evolve. And some of these friends you around, man, they don't want you to be yourself. They want you to cater to them. They want you to be a certain being around them and you got to choose you over them baby. It's time for you to grow but you ain't no will. Life is short. Life is too short to, to be walk around being bored by people. You understand me? Because he got money. You call him real. Just like Kodak Black say. I know the perk was fake, but I still ate it because I'm a gremlin. Let me tell you something. Some of y'all know these niggas and bitches is fake, but you're still around them because they got money. Or she got some juice box. Or he got some mushroom tip. And you want to sit around this nigga and put up with him. You know that nigga was fake, but you're still around them because you a clout chasing gremlin. Baby, let me tell you something, baby. Say something else, when it's time to level up, you got to find the exit from around these people that you can't grow. Yeah, you can't evolve with. Yeah, you can't grow to that person that God calling you to be. Your calling is higher. That's why your situation is harder. I need somebody to hit that like button right now if you're going through problems with your family right now and you don't know why you and your sister don't stop speaking. You don't know why your brother don't call and check up on you. You ain't did nothing to that nigga. You ain't did nothing to that bitch. And she can't stand you. Your sister, she grew up in the same house as you. Won't even call and check up on your kid. Talking about she TT, auntie, and all that shit. She need the, uh, she, she fake. She fake. I need somebody to hit that like button right now. If your family member just done stop talking to you out of nowhere. Let me tell you something. They ain't stop talking to you out of nowhere. See, what it is is it's time to grow. It's time to evolve. And God going to bring situations and private conversations to the forefront that you ain't here. And let you know that the enemy was right here. And he was near. And he was blocking your blessing the whole time. He was the curse. And you ain't want to find the exit because of a title. Oh my God, you round here living in unhappy situations. You round here miserable. You round here stressed and depressed. Let me tell you something, baby. You better find the exit. You better find the exit off that street because I'm going to tell you something, baby. That's a dead end, baby. And you need to look at that person as a dead friend or dead family member, baby. You need to have a mental funeral because they can't go. Everybody can't go. Life too goddamn short, baby. And let me tell you something. When you die, they still going to be out here causing problems. They still going to be out here full of shit. They ain't know nothing. They don't want nothing. They ain't bought nothing. And they ain't going to be nothing because they ain't seen nothing. They ain't seen what you seen, baby. I need somebody to hit that goddamn like what rough is remodeling on here. Todd legit on here. Shout out to Shay Shay Bomb. Quish on here. What's up with your bam bam? King Sam. King B. Shout out to everybody on here. Chair for I see a LaVonda right in the building, baby, and going down tonight. Strawberry. Say it again. Say something else. Let me tell you something. 
you got to find your peace. You got to find your peace and live there. You got to locate your happiness and never leave that place of happiness, baby. Because there's so many miserable people out here that wake up every day and they look at the news. And if they ain't looking at the news on 4, 7, and 10 or Channel 2 or wherever you from, God damn it, and that the news come on that station, they looking at the news feed. Ain't nothing but drama coming on there. Ain't nothing but toxicity coming on there. They ain't got no kind of electricity. They stay with the T, baby. They draining you, baby. Do you understand that people ain't got peace? How they gonna offer you peace when they ain't living in peace? How they gonna make you happy when they ain't happy? How they gonna make your life better when they life ain't shit? Let me tell you something. Stress is the number one cancer in the mind and the body, baby. And what you gotta understand is this. That stress or cause you to break down. That stress or cause mental dysfunctions. That stress or cause death, baby. And let me tell you something. You too blessed to be out here stressed. You too blessed to be worried about somebody else mess, baby. You too blessed. God done bless you. God finna bestow all kind of blessings to your life. But you gotta get these people that behind you with that knife that trying to backstab, backstab up. Backstab, they but they smile in your face all the time. They wanna take your place. Them backstab, the motherfucker behind you with the knife, and they trying to stab you in the back, baby. So I'ma tell you something. You can't afford to be stressed, and I'ma tell you why. You deal with people on your job. This job pay you an hourly salary. This job pay you an hourly wage and you dealing with they shit. They don't even pay you what they get paid every goddamn day. They pay you by the hour and you dealing with that shit on your job. Then when you come from the job, you got to pick up the goddamn kids from school. They messing up in, in the school. And now you got to whoop on their ass. And then when you whoop on their ass, now you got to do homework with their ass. Then you got to feed them kids. Then after you feed them kids, you gotta go check your mailbox. And when you go in the mailbox, ain't nothing good. It ain't no check in there. You know what's in there? It's some bills. So now you dealing with kids. You dealing with that job. You dealing with them goddamn bills coming every goddamn month, kicking your goddamn ass. Do you understand that additional stress from another person will cause incurable trauma? Say the drama for your mama, baby. You ain't got time for that shit. It's time to level up and shit the devil up. Every level you go up, you're going to have to knock another devil down. But you can't be dealing with new stress and additional stress and somebody else mess. You can't be messing with this woman and she around here stressing you out with the shit. You already stressed out with your own mess and she can't even figure out her own shit. You can't be messing with this other man and you around here stressing out and that man stressing you out on top of the stress you already going through and you right here trying to figure out how you finna get through what you're going through. You just lost a family member that you really love. You just lost your mama, your daddy. You just lost your kid. You just lost your kinfolk. And you right here dealing with that man talking to you in that kind of way. You can't be dealing with that. You need assets, baby. Girl! You need assets, people that bring assets to your life. You wild here walk around with liabilities. People that ain't even got no goddamn, even if they got their stress you out, they ain't gonna pay for your funeral. They ain't gonna do nothing. They gonna break in your house and steal all the shit because they know they done took you out. And you right here letting them stress you out, baby. Let me tell you something. You can't afford to deal with this man cheating on you. You can't afford to marry this man, this man beating on your ass. You can't afford this, man, this woman, goddamn, this, 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 this woman, this woman taking all your goddamn money. You can't afford, you already on child support. You already on back pay. You already on back pay. He's looking for them hoes. You can't be dealing with that. Who raised you? Let me tell you something, baby. You need assets, not liabilities, baby. It don't matter how good that man mushroom tip is. It don't matter how good that woman juice box is. You must detach from that situation, baby. Do you understand that detachment is the key to freedom? It's the key ingredient. You got to detach from people. You got to fall back from people. You got to stop messing with these folk. Might leave these folk alone. 
Misery love company, baby. Anytime you happen to like miserable people, just find your way. When you doing bad, you can't find a friend to call. But when they doing bad, they call your phone every goddamn time. You got to detach from these people, baby. Because when you detach, when you let go, when you remove, when you separate, yeah, when you detach, I say when you remove, I say when you let go, when you learn to separate, that's when God finna bless you, cause he see you ready for the love of love, cause you done shut the devil up, cause the devil can't cross you with these people that's trying to lost you, baby, trust what I'm saying, you gotta detach yourself from the drama. Everybody calling you about what's going on with what's her name and what's her face. Yeah, you got to detach from that. You got to let go of these toxic ass relationships. Relationships that just causing you hurt. Goddamn pain for breakups and every minute he mad at your ass. Y'all going to bed mad. Baby, you going to have an ulcer mad at this nigga every day. You calling the early death on yourself. Baby, these niggas and these bitches already dying at the age of 50. And you around here stressing. You and your twin is stressing about a nigga. Baby, let that nigga go. Baby, the big homie, you stressing about a bitch. You better let that woman go, baby. It's three women and three men for everybody on the planet. It's nine billion people on planet Earth. You better not let one person spoil your goddamn day, baby. You better not let one person spoil your life. You better let that mother go baby like Martin Luther King say let my people go let them go detach remove separate slick get your goddamn replace replace because what you don't understand is this right here God sit back and he sit high but it look low and what he doing is he watching the show he watching and waiting until you show him discipline and strength and the ability to have the power to let go to people that's draining you and stressing you. Once you prove to God that you able to let them go, that you truly ready to remove these toxic air people out your life, he going to start overflowing your cup with unbelievable blessings. It's just like my partner, one of my football partners, William Joseph right now, locked down. And he locked down behind the broad. Now we done talked to this man, told him, man, leave this broad alone, leave this broad alone. He done whip around there and spanked on her ass. Now he locked up with no bond. Free William Joseph. And y'all know William Joseph on here from Miami Hurricane, my dog. Listen, man, free William Joseph. Come and tell you something, baby. It's situation, man, when God tap you on the shoulder and tell you to let that shit go and you don't let that shit go, dog, and you don't detach them people and you don't remove them people out your life, that shit gonna get worse and worse and worse to a point where you can't get out of it, dog. Your money can't save you. No matter how much money you got, no matter how many people you know, no matter how high you don't win in the world, baby, that can't remove you about that situation because you've been warned by the mercy of God to let that situation go. But you just failed to listen to the warning signals, baby. God was tapping you on the show the whole time. Let that motherfucker go. And you ain't want to let him go. But once you prove to God that you truly ready, what he gonna do is, he gonna start overflowing your cup with unbelievable blessings, baby. He gonna start just sending opportunities to your doorstep. People gonna call your office with new opportunities from you, from them oppor- you. She, she, the problem is, you got these bad-ass opportunistic people around. This is a big-ass word, too. You got them opportunistic people around you that just looking for opportunities to try you, use you, ridicule you, and play you. And you wonder why you can't come up. Because you God's child. You chosen. You ain't just called. You chosen. But the problem is, you got them opportunists around you that's waiting on the opportunity to try you. Waiting on the opportunity to take from you. Waiting on the opportunity to step on you. And you just sitting there like a goddamn fool. Blocking your own blessings. See, you got to understand. Blessings will appear once the enemy disappear. 
And sometimes the enemy is within, but sometimes the enemy is the person we can't let go of. We can't detach from. See, you got to understand something, baby. I know you love that man. You got to understand something like that. I know you love that woman and all that shit, but what you got to understand is your soulmate will arrive once you let go your playmate. You playing too much. You just have it with her. You just laying up with her. You just screwing her. You just screwing him. He just a little fling, a little thing to do. You play too much. You holding on to something that you should have been let go. And now you wind up with a baby. Yeah, you holding on to something you been should have go. Now you winding up with a black eye. Can't even look out the eye to eye looking like this. Because God done showed your way. This nigga don't want to do nothing but whoop on your ass, baby. He trying to knock some sense in your dog ass, but you won't let him go. Let that nigga go. Detach from that toxic ass, contrasting ass woman. That woman poison to you. Let go that man, baby. Let go that job. That job ain't bringing you no kind of peace. That job ain't bringing you no kind of prosperity. That job ain't providing an elevator for you to go up. It's just bringing you stress with they mess and your name ain't nowhere on the paperwork. You ain't got no raise, no promotion or nothing that you in a union job. You get paid the same way and you dealing with the same shit every day. Detach from that shit with them ragged ass co-workers. Stop being friend with your co-worker too. Them is co-workers, them is your business partners. Them is not people you socialize with. You ain't got time to be worried about they shit. Man, go to work with them people and leave that shit at the job. Y'all be wanna be down with everybody, man. Leave co-workers on the job, all that hanging out after work. Let them lonely ass people find somebody else to play with, baby. They just something to do. It's just like going to prison. Everybody you locked up with, when y'all get out of jail, you don't see them niggas no more. That's just how co-worker is. When five o'clock come, you don't see them co-worker, co -co co-worker no more. Shout this video. Somebody hit that like button right now if you know you can't be friends with your co-worker Strawberry. You, you are watching a master at work. So I'm gonna tell you something. You gotta leave them toxic people in the real. You got a rear view mirror, and it's a reason why that rear view mirror is so small. And it's a reason why that windshield is so big. You gotta leave people behind you. The only time you look back in life is when you want to see how far you done became. <coughs> and goddamn strawberry trying to kick my ass again. Y'all know how I get. You need to be looking at your windshield. Your windshield is your future. You got so much money coming to you. You got so much blessings coming to you. You got so much opportunities coming to you. You got so much promotions and different people that want to help you. But you holding on to people that's Halting you. You holding on to people that's stepping on your neck. You holding on to people, man, because you classifying that as real, but it's a difference between being real and real stupid. Say something else, no. Because you think you being real, you holding on these people and you feel like that's real. Let me tell you something, you're real dumb. Because if you was real, you would get from around these people, lead them people in the real view, staring at the world through my real view. Staring at the world through my rear view. That's what you doing. You looking at the world through your rear view. Man, don't look back there, baby. Only time you supposed to look back there, baby, I done broke. Baby, I done lost weight. Baby, I done came up. Baby, I'm doing better. Baby, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Now, I don't even stay there no more. I got a new address. I got a new last name. And I got a new outlook on life. Still, I got a groove back, baby. Hit that like button right now if you done changed the way you look at things. Because you done changed the people from around you. Girl! Leave them people in your rear view. Focus on your windshield. See, what you got to do is you got to reevaluate these friendships around you. You got so many associations with people, so many acquaintances, so many friends that you talk to. You got to look deep in these people you call friends. You got 20 people right now that you could call and get drunk with. Oh, shit. You got 20 people you could call and drink the 1942 with. You got 20 people you could call and drink the Casamigo with. You got 20 people you could call and drink the Sea Rock with. You got 20 people you could call and drink the Hennessy or the Schaefer with, baby. The Schaefer bill, by the way, the cheap bill. You got 20 people you could call and drink the Four Loco with. Can you name one motherfucker that you could call right now and go in business with? 
all them people that you got that you could get drunk with. All them people you got that you could got them pop the bottle with and stand on couches with and go half on a sprinter or go half on a friend vacation. How many of them motherfuckers you could go on business with? How many of them people you really trust where you could discuss personal issues that you going with? How many going through with? How many people you could talk to right now that could give you life sound advice with your children, man, that you trust around your kids? You ain't got nail one of them motherfuckers. So why you gotta, why, you gotta evaluate that. Girl! Why you got around you? Why you got around you? See, I'm gonna tell you something. These 20 people that you could call and get drunk with, these 20 people that you could stand on couches with, they in your way. They in your way of growth. They in your way. Somebody type 1111 right now if you finna cut some people off right after this video. Somebody type 1111 right now if you been thinking about cutting somebody off and this video confirmed that and now I'm affirming that. Somebody like type 1111 right now in the comments right now if you been thinking Miss Mac Fay, I see you on here. Shout to Miss Mac Fay. Shout to, to, shout to everybody watching. VV, I see you on here, baby. TT, I see you too, baby. It's all love, baby. I need somebody to hit 1111 in the comments right now if you been been thinking about cutting this relationship you've been in a relationship for the last 10 years and y'all ain't grow you matter of fact you don't grew this way and they don't grow that way y'all don't grew apart and you ready to just get it over with and you ready to cut them off in this video confirming that i need you to type 11 11 in the comments type 11 11 in the comments right now if you got 20 people that you could call right now and get drunk with and they ready to go to the club and get fucked up they ready to go to the club and get drunk and, 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 and go to throwing up and all that. When they get there in your car throwing up, they ain't even going to clean up the throw up. Who raised you? Type 1111 right now if you know people like that, but you can't call one person to go in business with. <laughs> See, I'm going to tell you something. It's a lot of niggas on here right now that you could call 20 people that you could smoke with, hit the gelatos with. You got 20 people you could hit the you could hit the goddamn you could hit the smoke with right now. You know 20 people you could call, bro. Come over here, let's smoke one, bro. Let's smoke one right now, bro. But you know you can't grow with them people. You know this person gonna smoke for the rest of his life. He ain't never gonna grow. He ain't got even the mindset of a business person. Let me tell you something. If you got people like that around you, you need to understand them people in your way. Get rid of them people, man. Get rid of them people. Let me tell you something. How many of y'all on here? I need you to type 1111 right now if you know people that you can smoke with, get high with, get drunk with, and get fucked up with right now, but you don't know nobody that you can come up with. You can get fucked up with them, but you can't come up with them. Hit 1111 in the comments right now if you know somebody you can call right now and they come right to your house and pop the bottle with you. But time as you pop up with an idea on how y'all can go in business, they ain't got no money. Or they ain't got no vision. Or they mind too small. Somebody type 1111 in the comments right now and let me know. I need to know, baby. Strawberry. Uh -uh. You are watching a master at work. I'm going in tonight. I'm going in tonight, baby. See, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these yeah. niggas on here. You'll put your mushroom tip in anything moving. You a hunch and smash on anything moving. And see, what you got to realize is, if you just out here Girl. hunching and smashing with this woman, or you hunching and smashing with this man, but you don't see marriage with this person, you know you can't have no kid with this person. This nigga ain't even a good father to his own kid that he got with your way. He got kids before your way and he ain't no good father. But you hunching and smashing on that nigga talking about the muff room tip good. Or you hunching and smashing on her and her kids always with her mama. They always with the grandma. And she always running the street home. And you right here hunching and smashing on her. And you don't see marriage. You don't see prosperity. You don't see you ever living with this woman. You don't see you ever building with this woman, but you want to smash, hunch, and chill with this woman. You better have some muff room tip discipline, boy. You got to put some discipline on that muff room tip. Yeah, you got to let that go. Come and tell you something, baby. It take about 30 seconds for these niggas to buff one, baby, because they on all kind of drugs. They can't go long with me. They ain't going long with me, baby. I'm on that Niagara. I'm on that Niagara. I go all night. I'm on Niagara and Strawberry, baby. Strawberry! You are watching a master at work. I'm on Niagara and Strawberry, baby. I'm going all night. 
you got to have some mother room tip discipline. I'm gonna tell you why. If you don't stop playing with your time the way you're doing, you gonna waste 18 years with a kid with a woman that you don't want. And that's gonna be the hardest situation that you ever went through your life. You're gonna waste so many years because you done settled at the bottom of the total pole with a person that you know you goddamn don't want. But the sex was so good, it kept you there. And I wanna also enlighten you that your partner, your soulmate might not even be in your city. Your soulmate might be in another country finna come here. Your soulmate might be in a whole nother state and you just ain't went there yet and you go on a vacation and you meet somebody that just changed your last name. Change the way you feel about men and change your address forever. And they claim you, baby. Hit 1111 in the comments right now if you know yo and you tired of these dog ass men in your city or you tired of these raggly ass women in your city. I need to know if somebody tired like I'm tired, baby. Come I'ma tell you something. You got to stop playing with your time like that. You right here playing with your time like you got it like that. You know how much money you got in your bank account. But ain't nobody on here right now. Can somebody on here tell me how long you got left on this earth? Can you tell me right now? Can somebody comment below? I'm going to read the comment if you could comment it. Let me see. I'm going to read the comment right now if you could tell me how long you think you got left on this earth to be playing with a motherfucker. Yeah. I'm going to read the comment right now if you could just predict that you finna live this many years. I'm going to read the comment right now that tell me, hey, Nino, I know how long I got left. Don't nobody know how. Look at the comment. Don't nobody know how long they got left. You don't know how long you got left on you. So why you playing with your time like that? Do you know that time is the most precious most valuable, most luxurious asset that you got in your life and you right here wasting time on a job you can't stand? You right here wasting time with a man you can't stand? You right here wasting time with a woman you don't like? Man, let me tell you something, baby. You better stop playing with your time like that. You don't know how long you got left on planet Earth. Don't waste another hour. Don't waste another minute. Don't waste another day on anything temporary, baby. Let me tell you something. You better stop wasting permanent feelings on temporary people. Say it again. I'm going to say that again for the people in the back and the people in the middle that's ears too little. Stop wasting permanent feelings on temporary people. You right here telling people you love. I love you. I love you. And you know good goddamn well you can't stand her or you can't stand him. See, I'm going to tell you something. You could be in love, but you don't love that person. You could be in love, but you don't love them, baby. Let me tell you something. Stop wasting permanent memories or permanent nightmares on temporary people that just passing through your life. Jump out the car. Jump out the house. Jump off that job. Jump out that relationship, baby. Because when you truly trying to win, when you truly trying to gain, when you truly trying to grow, when you truly trying to increase, when you truly trying to claim victory, when you truly trying to get out that misery, when you truly trying to get out that stressful situation, when you truly tired of being sick and tired, baby, when you truly tired, baby, who raised you? When you truly trying to win, baby, when you truly want this situation to end, baby, you gonna start playing with your time because you gonna realize I'm getting too old for this bullshit. Because many get old, but only few grow up. How many people growing up? Everybody get older. You get a birthday every year, baby. But how many times you growing up? How many times you going up? How many times you increasing your mental capacity? How many times you learning something new? How many times you learning something new about you? How many years you wasting on planet Earth doing the same old shit with the same old people that don't want shit out of life? They stuck and they want you to be stuck in the ground with them. You better get from around them people. Girl! You better level up and shut the devil up. Somebody hit 1111 right now if you're ready to level up. Somebody comment below and let me know you ready to grow, baby. 
Somebody comment below and let me know you're ready to go. Go from around these toxic ass people. Go from around these miserable ass people that love company. See, I'm gonna tell you something. A positive and a positive gonna attract a positive. But if you put a positive with a negative, a negative gonna come out that situation. Stop letting these people drain you, baby. Let them go. See, you gotta hang around winners. You got to hang around winners. You got to start searching for winners to be around, man. Winners don't hang around losers. Losers talk about winners and winners talk about winning, baby. You got to hang around winners that's growing. You got to hang around winners so they can help you increase your life. So they can help you expand your mental capacity. So they can put you up on game, man. Because you been hanging around these lames, man. Type 1111 in the comments right now if you're trying to hang. I want to hang with you. I need to know. Somebody hit 1111 in the comments right now if you're ready to hang with Nino. Because I want to hang with some people that's trying to become a winner. See, I'm going to tell you how you know that I ain't lying about this situation. You only earn about $1,000 to $5,000 more or less than the people you hang around every day. I want you to really think about this situation, right? The people you hang around, either they drug dealers, strippers, bartenders, or tippers. What you got to understand is this, man. Ask these people what they make yearly, or what they make monthly, or what they salary like. And then when you ask them, think about your own situation. If they wouldn't have tell you that, think about that and compare it to your situation. It's going to shock you. Because think about it. Some of your friends right now, they might not live in the same community you live in, but they live in a different community, but the same old situation, same surroundings, same hood, same ghetto. Y'all live in the same kind of conditions, dog. So what that mean is you ain't around winners. Winners going to make you level up. Winners going to make you look at your situation a different kind of way and be like, you know what? I can't stay here. Because, see, when you order these people around you and start looking at them like, bro, you only make that much money? Damn, I make that much money. Because if you broke and he broke, y'all need to break the fuck up. If you broke and she broke, y'all need to break that shit up. Because y'all ain't going nowhere. Y'all broke down. And, see, I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes breakdowns come before breakthroughs, but you can stay break down on the side of the curb and ain't nobody coming through because ain't nobody got a car just like you. Trust what I'm saying, baby. So unless these people that you hang around every day is business owners or these people making the kind of money that you see yourself making and living comfortable with, dog, or unless these people just happy in life, man, or they got peace or they just pure motivation for you, man, they shouldn't even be around you, man. Because you're going to have to make some new friends, man, because they holding you down. They part of the problem, and you can't solve them hanging around the enemy. You got to flee from around these people, man. See, I'm going to tell you something about friends. See, this word friend is in in friend. The word friend got in, and you got to know when to draw the in. Break that syllable up. Fry and in. They frying you. They training you. Put an in in that bullshit that you call friend. In that shit. See, I'm going to tell you something. Most friends will only allow you to be happy if they happy. Shout out to LaVon Durante sending them super chats. Thank you so much for them private donations. She always zell me and show love. Thank you so much, baby. I appreciate that. Always supporting, always showing love. Shout out to King B. Shout out to everybody donating. I see all the donations on here. Shout out to all my people on here. John T. Scott, what's up with you, big homie? Shout out to Julian Van on here. What's up with you? Shout out to everybody supporting, man. I see everybody donating, send them cash, send them donations. I appreciate that. But let me tell you something. The reason why your friend don't want to see you happy, because they ain't happy. Most friends will only allow you to be happy if they happy. If they ain't happy, they don't want to see you happy. See, you got to understand, if, they, if your friend ain't in a good relationship, what the, they want to see you in a good relationship for? They ain't in no good relationship. They in a messed up situation too, baby. They ain't get no mushroom tip. You ever been around a woman, you can tell this woman needs some good mushroom tip in her life because she mad every day. You can tell that man don't get no sex or he don't get no juke ball. You know why? Because he angry every day. He bitter every day. Here you will. You got a woman at home. You got kids in the house. You got a little dog in there. You got happiness in there. What you look like telling this man about your situation when this man ain't even got a situation to go to? Man, you better get around these people, man. Strawberry. Watching a master at work. I'm gonna tell you something. Most friends that you got, think about that friend that you got. 
And you always tell them about how your job done gave you a raise. And you always tell them about you done bought new stuff. Or you just bought a new house and you done came up on a new car. And they be like, damn, dog, you always bragging. Damn, dog, you always talk about what you got. You know why they talk like that? Because they ain't doing what you doing, bro. You got to put an end to that friend. You got to put an end to that friend because it look like bragging when they ain't doing what you're doing, dog. Because if a person doing what you're doing, they going to be happier than you for you. Because they happy to see another motherfucker come up. They happy to see another person come up out the same situation they were still stuck in. They know what it is to be broke. They know what it is to make something out of nothing. So when you got a real friend that understand, man, you was down, you was broke. Bro, I'm happy for you, bro. We need to go celebrate. I'm taking you out to eat. When you got them kind of friends, them real friends. And if you find one of them in your life, man, you did a damn good job. I'm going to tell you something. It's hard to find people that doing what you're doing, that they going to look at your blessings as bragging. They ain't gonna look at what God doing for you as bragging. Yeah, you can talk about it, man. Yeah, cause they ain't making the they making the same equivalent moves that you making in life. So they don't look at it as bragging. They looking at it as you you coming up. You finally getting it. You finally broke off the bull crap. Trump, what I'm saying now, think about what I'm saying, dog. This is why, if you really think about what I'm saying, think about billionaires. People like Mark Cuban or, or, or Warren Buffett or Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos. You think they walk around hanging with Bam Bam from the hood? Or you think around they hang around JoJo or, or goddamn little, little Ty Ty them? They ain't hanging with them. Billionaires only hang around billionaire friends, man. They only hang around people with assets. Rappers hang with rappers. Scrippers hang with scrippers. Dancers hang with dancers. And street niggas hang with street niggas, dog. Because if the people ain't on what you own, dog, they ain't on that type of time, then guess what? Y'all ain't got nothing to common. Y'all ain't got nothing to be talking about. They in the way. These people around you, they in the way. If they ain't doing what you're doing, they shouldn't be around you. If they ain't got the mindset that you got, if they ain't trying to build the way you're trying to build, if they ain't trying to live the way you're trying to live, they in the way. Get them out the way, baby. Them people stuck it. They stuck and they trying to keep you stuck there like a flagpole. They got you stuck there like an elephant tied to a chair that don't even know he could go there. Yeah, they don't want you to know, baby. They should have never. See, one day you got to realize that they should never, ever been around you in the first place. Y'all be trying to keep up with your old classmates. Y'all be trying to go to the high school reunion. I want to see what such and such doing from the football team in high school. Child, you sick that you losing teeth. What you care about the high school quarterback? What you care about the basketball team and all that from your high school year? It's time to come up with a business. It's time to come up with a business. See, I'm going to tell you something, man. This how you know a negative and a positive are only create a negative situation. A housewife. If you take a housewife, a good woman that cook for a man, a good woman that take care of kids, a good woman that provide access to a relationship, she can't be friends with no regular ass hoe. She can't be friends with no hoe. She can't even associate with that hoe no more. Come and tell you why. They can't never be best for this one situation. A housewife got a different lifestyle, a different obligation, a different responsibility than the freelancing they at home. So eventually, one gonna transform the other. And since you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, you already know who win that battle. The hoe gonna win. She gonna turn her Aisha Curry, that Aisha Curry bitch. You see how Aisha Curry keep trying Steph Curry? You see how Kim Kardashian keep trying Kanye? You can't make no hoe into no housewife, but you can turn a housewife into a hoe. Say it again. Say something Trump what I'm saying, baby. You can turn a housewife to a hoe, but you can't turn no goddamn housewife, uh, uh, make a hoe to a housewife. They done tried it already. Look at all these black chinas and all these people that's hoes. Look at all these scrippers. I ain't got nothing against you scrippers and all that. I know y'all follow me, but baby, let me tell you something, baby. When you been corrupted and disgusted with these streets, it's hard to come out that shit because that money too good. But that money changed to the devil. 
Sometimes you got to understand, man. You got to look into these people, man, and see what their interest is. What interests them? What turn them on? Where they going? Sometimes you following somebody that ain't going nowhere. Sometimes you could be listening to somebody that ain't telling you nothing, man. They telling you the wrong, the wrong shit. And if you're not careful, man, you will settle for friends that's disabling you. These people disabling you, they hindering you, they holding you down like a tree stump and you a clown and sitting there inside a circus that you ain't even know you was in because you got so much, they got so much power and influence over you. So they holding you because that's your, your dog. You, they holding you because you understand me, they got power over you or you look up to the way they dress or how much money they get. Let me tell you something. You got to overlook that shit and start looking at where they going. You can look into somebody, see success and failure is predictable. You can look at somebody and tell if they're going to be successful or they're going to be a failure by their habitual rituals, by the way they live. By their habits, by what they do every day, man. So if you ain't careful, you're gonna be disabled. You're gonna be disabled. And see, I'm gonna tell you something. What's gonna happen is they influence over you gonna overpower your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And see, I'm going to tell you something, a toxic environment, man. Y'all got to get out these toxic environments. I'm going to tell you something, a toxic environment, a, a, a toxic environment will change you before you change it. You got to get out of that. So if you around somebody that's toxic right now, or you around somebody that's just detrimental or, or, or just disabled, and you see that shit, and you just be like, damn, dog, you still doing that? Damn, dog, you still gambling? Damn, dog, you still getting high? I been stopped getting high. Damn, dog, you still getting drunk? And they still ain't, they mentally suppressed, they mentally poisoned, and you still sitting there in that toxic environment, you ain't, and you sitting there trying to change them, you keep talking to them, and they still don't want to change? They still, shout to skin, uh, Skinny Lil' Crunk on here, what's up with your Skinny Lil' Crunk? Shout to you, I see you on here, shout to, uh, who that is, Adam on here, what's up with your Adam? I see everybody showing love, let me tell you something. Get out these toxic environments because you ain't going to change that environment. That environment going to change you. You can't change somebody that's been mentally poisoned. You can't change somebody that's just mentally disabled. You could try to change them, but you're going to always fail. Because some of these people just stubborn. Some of these people just stuck and they don't give a fuck. They comfortable with being lost and living a lie, baby. If you know somebody on here right now, if you know somebody that's comfortable and you try to wake them up and you try to tell them the truth and they just don't want to listen and you try to open their mind. Mix Fat, Mac Faye, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Shout to everybody on here super chatting and donate to the channel. Y'all send them donations and send them super chat. God bless you. But if you know somebody right Right now in your family and you're gonna try to woke them up about that relationship you're gonna try to woke them up about them situationships and problems that they're going through let me tell you something if they don't want to wake up you got to exit out that situation because that toxic situation that toxic environment that shit gonna change you before you change it get out get out they stuck on being stupid they stubborn, they lost, and they cool with being lost. And they've been lost so long that they don't even want you to help them find themselves. Strawberry! You are watching a master at work. So you gotta wake up one day and just realize this a toxic person. This person toxic. This person damaged. This person mentally contaminated. This person draining me. Every time they call me, they going through something. And I was cool with talking about the problem one or two times. But the next time you call me, you need to be calling me with a solution. And every time I tell you what to do in your situation, you fighting me on it. So that let me know something. You don't want that situation to change. You want me to be sitting there and you let you, you better start charging them to talk to you. Because at that point, you become a therapist. At that point, you become a, a, a counselor. And if you're going to counsel people that ain't listening to your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you better be getting paid for it. Because that person mentally contaminated. That person mentally toxic. That person mentally draining you and damaging you. And it's causing trauma. And after you get off that call, you're going to need somebody to talk to to heal you. The best thing you're going to do in that situation is let go and let God. 
When you see somebody ain't listening, somebody just want to keep going to prison, somebody just want to keep fucking up, let them go, dog. Let go and let God. They'll find themselves and they'll come back and tell you you was right. I should have listened. See, you got to understand. Most of us on here, we come from the projects, we come from the hood, we come from nothing, dog. But some of us woke up and realized that this neighborhood toxic. This just ain't it. I can't live like this no more. I can't live off food stamps no more. I can't live off goddamn minimum wage. I can't live, man, getting paid every two goddamn weeks and they come up short with my check. I can't live every year just depending on an income tax check just to feel like I'm rich for two or three months. I can't live like that no more. Some of us woke up and realized that, but some of us stayed still. We never changed our address. We never changed our mindset. We never changed our narrative. We just stayed the same. We just kept living in the gutter, waking up every day, playing a lotto, hoping we hit. How many people on here play the lotto every day, hoping you hit, hoping your numbers come through? We were just like you, waking up every day, living in the project, rats and roaches and lizards and a mosquito biting you because you ain't got no AC, you got the window up, they coming in there, tearing your ass up if you live in the south. Let me tell you something, you hoping you make a hit on the lotto or the fantasy five if you live in Florida so you can move out, move up and live like the rich folks. But if you go interview your grandma or if you go talk to your mama one day, They'll tell you they did the same goddamn thing that you did. And they never won the lotto. They never hit. You know why? Because they never bet it on themselves. If you want to hit the lotto, bet on yourself. You the lottery ticket, bet on you. I like your chances over hitting the lottery that the government made for you to hit. Uh, it, it's a pipe dream. I like your chance to bet on yourself. I like your channel. Your mama never bet on herself. Your grandma never bet on herself. Your daddy damn sure ain't never bet on himself. Why you ain't betting on yourself? Bet on yourself, man. Play the lotto with your dream. Wake up every day and pray you hit big, dog, in your dream. I'm going to tell you something. Hitting the lotto in real time, in real life is, is when you find your purpose. When you apply your passion. When you take risks, fail, get back up and keep going until you win. When you go through trial and error and see that success come and, and, and realize, man, yeah. When you go through trial and error and you fail, but then you come up, that success lasts long term. But if you hit the lotto, that money only lasts for a season. See, I'm going to tell you something, baby. Say something else, nigga. Stop trying to play the lotto, trying to hit Stop playing a lotto and trying to hit. I used to be around DJ Khaled every day. And I tell y'all about this all the time because it's bringing me back to the situation. And you know this man was rich and still playing a lotto. We'll stop by the 7-Eleven every night before we went to the suit studio. And I'm like, damn, Khaled, why are we going to the 7-Eleven for? We got food and drinks in the studio. He said, I'm going to play the lotto. He was still trying to hit the lotto. Even after he got rich, he wanted it all for real. So I'm going to tell you something. When you want to bet, bet on yourself. When you want to bet, change your environment, move, get rid of them negative people and find the exit. Get out of that miserable ass, horrible ass marriage you is and get a divorce. Leave. Mm. I'm going to tell you something. The only way you're going to hit a lotto is when you get from around that toxicity. When you get from around them negative and by them negative draining people. When you get from around people that ain't going nowhere. Because if you don't, you ain't never going to truly win that life. You ain't never going to find happiness. You will never be able to focus on your ambition. You will never hit the lotto within yourself. You will never hit the jackpot within yourself. Because once you find your purpose, that's when God start delivering the blessings to you. Because you actually paying him back for making you. Because he created each and every one of us with a gift. An apple tree deliver apples to you. An orange tree deliver oranges. A mango tree deliver mangoes. Trucks deliver boxes. Nothing stays in the truck. It's coming to deliver the gift. You were born with a gift. 
Find your ambition. Find your purpose. Find your destiny. It's time you ready for it, baby. Because you will never win at nothing if you always failing to give 100% to that something that you're trying to gain because you're giving a percentage of that 100 to that toxic-ass relationship. You're giving a percentage of that 100 to that toxic-ass drama for friend you got. You're giving a, shit, a percentage of that goddamn 100 to your goddamn stressed out kids and, and, and work situation. And them bills calling your ass. You will never ever be able to give 100% into your destiny. Or 100% into your ambition. Or 100% into your mission. Until you get rid of these goddamn negative situations you in. You got to gotta meditate. You got to elevate in order to separate, baby. You got to... You got to separate in order to elevate. In order to do that, you got to meditate. You got to take an hour out your day, 30 minutes out your day, even if it's 10 minutes before you go into a situation and just woo saw and talk to God. You around here stressed out with these kids. You around here stressed out with this business. You around here stressed out at work. So when do you got time to ever recharge yourself? When can you apply a full battery to your vision? When you plug your phone up every night on your nightstand, or some of y'all sleeping on the goddamn floor, you plug your phone up on your floor next to your air mattress every night on that flat ass air mattress. When are you plugging yourself up and recharging? You there for everybody else. When is you there for yourself? You around here hang around people that's draining your battery. You hang around people that's draining your battery and you need to jump your goddamn self. You need to jump up out the situation. You need a break from your kids. You need a vacation from your job. You need to get up out that toxic ass marriage. You in a bad man. All you do is complain about your marriage. You can't stand that woman. You don't like that man. What you in it for? How you gonna ever be somebody and you with somebody that you can't stand? How you gonna get a God? Listen, how God gonna give you a jump and get you started? Because God's standing right there with the goddamn jumper cables right now. He ready to give you a jump. But the problem is, every time he give you a jump and you get started, you run back to people that broke you down. You run back to the people that caused you stress. You run back to the people that got you depressed. Let them people go. Let go and let God move on so you can move up. It's your season, baby. It's your season, baby. It's your season. Strawberry, it's your season, baby. It's your season, baby. You finna win. You finna win, but you gotta let them people go. You gotta let them people go. You gotta let them people go because they causing your stress. You gotta let them people go because they ain't never gonna be blessed. You gotta let them people go because they in their own way. They tripping their own self. You gotta let them people go because they can't stand they self. They hate the toothbrush. They hate you and they hate the mirror because they hate the man in the mirror. You got to let them people go that don't love they self, baby. I need somebody to type 1111 in the comments right now if you ready to let them go. I need somebody to type 1111 in the comments if you ready to grow. It's time to elevate because if you leave a situation and you find peace out of that situation, you didn't lose, you won. If you leave a friendship... And out of nowhere, blessings just start coming. And you just miss the conversation with the person. Or you just miss the goddamn hanging out with the person. But the blessings coming so big that you don't even think about that person no more. You ain't lost. You won, baby. Because you got to separate in order to elevate. Break off from them people, dog. Sometimes you got to step back from family. Sometimes you got to step back from people and make them miss you. They don't miss you because they see you too much. They see you every goddamn day. You in their face every day. How they gonna ever miss you? Shout out to everybody on here too, baby. I see everybody donate to the channel. Thank you so much for super chatting and donating. I appreciate everybody. I need everybody on here before you get off this video. Make sure you hit that like button right now. I need everybody to hit that like button right now. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you like this video right now, type 1111 in the comments. I'm flying people in, baby. I got a new video. I just flew somebody in. I'm going to drop the video sometime this week or next week. Y'all get ready for that. Surprise for y'all. I'm, I'm flying people in all the, all the rest of this month. I'm randomly selecting people. I love to fly my super chatters in. The people that donate to me and give back. I love you, baby. Thank you so much for watching. God bless y'all. Y'all make y'all make sure you subscribe to my daughter channel. 
youtube.com slash Brit Breath. Please get your kids to subscribe to my daughter's channel. I do all the videos with her. We doing some positive videos for the kids. We gonna add some kid motivation on there. So if your kid's going through problems at school and all that, I'ma teach her how to motivate the kids. We need that because we in the era where these kids lost. We in the era where the parents and the internet is exposing everything that we was hid from as kids. We had to figure it out. These kids got everything, access to everything. I got my child up under me and I'm teaching her the game. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my daughter channel. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to youtube.com slash Nino Brown 305. Make sure you comment below where you from, where you at right now. Make sure y'all call me tonight. 786 three one zero three one one two after this video i'm gonna show y'all how to book a one-on-one -on -one mentoring session with nino brown thank you so much for watching god bless y'all y'all have a blessed week we the business guys look check this out thank you for watching my live video i really appreciate you make sure you subscribe to my channel and also make sure you book a one-on-one -on -one mentoring session with nino brown a mentor is a wise counsel. Somebody that done been through the things that you're going through. Whether that's family problems. Whether that's job problems. Problems at your job. Whether that's business problems. Where you can't get your business off the ground. Whether that's coming up with ideas to produce a new business. Whatever your problems is, I don't care. I can help you. I can counsel you. I can advise you the right way to go about it. I am an expert in these fields. I deal with kids. I deal with baby mama drama, baby daddy issues, whatever you going through, I can help you get to where you going to. Go to MrProblemSolver.net and sign up for my mentoring sessions. Book one a day. I will personally schedule you on my personal schedule and put you ahead of everybody else too. Day. Sign up now. We're going to email you back. We're going to get your contact info. I need everybody to do that now. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Nino Brown 305. Thank you for watching. We the business.